four members to close the case in opposition and conclude the debate as a whole.
the Christian like heritage of Europe, the fact that nearly every constitution pays a heed to Christianity, places like America, in God we trust. The fact is that these religions are so ingrained already to within the system that it is a little too late to take them out at this stage. Like, is that a bad or good thing? That's up to your own personal subjective section. It's true. The thing is that we don't need to keep letting in every person and validating their ideas to the same level of this just simply because it makes them feel good. It's stupid and it's inefficient. Like, we've heard this idea that, like, bad stuff happened in the past with all these other churches, just like Scientology. Well, because bad stuff happened in the past doesn't mean you let bad stuff happen in the future. The idea of progress is that you learn from mistakes, not allow them to repeat. Like, we don't need any more child scandals. Although Elrod already did that in the last few days in his boat full of young boys. <laughs> let's not worry about that. Like, lastly, let's look at the idea of why Scientology promises and what it does not it. Because the reason most of us turn to religion in our lives is either for two reasons. One, to find a sense of community. We've already heard the dangers of the community and the repressive force of the community that this is. Lastly, we turn to it because life is pretty scary. We don't know what's going on and we don't have all the answers. Because we're just small transient beings that spin on this rock for a few years, having screams signifying nothing. And it all comes to an end. And the problem is that we are afraid of what's going to happen to us while we're on that position and what's going to happen to us in that end. And so a lot of us turn to religion to get those answers. The difference between what this does to give you those answers and what other religions do those answers is the fact that this one sets you up on a necessary course where you have to buy into it, where you buy into it on a monetary level only to get your money. They can give you these answers for free, they can give you this problem, but they don't. They choose not to. Other religions at least have the heart to say, you can continue this and go for free. Come to your one hour folk group a week and play guitar and you'll get the answer to salvation. <laughs> Scientology drafts you into a cult-like system asking you to put away your money, to throw away your family life, for the never ending <coughs> promise that they do not deliver, that they don't give you that ultimate answer. Because you can keep on paying forever and ever to try to ultimately achieve all these skills, like talking to animals or immortality. And they will continue to take all of Tom Cruise's money and promise him that everlasting life that he so wants to keep making Mission Impossible movies. <laughs> <laughs> to take his money and pray off his fear. That's what Scientology does. It preys on people's fears and it preys on their insecurities to make money. It does not have the same morals to cope with other religions trying to offer back a real salvation that they believe in and believe to be true. It is simply a racket to take advantage of the needy and the most vulnerable in our society. And that is why it is illegitimate. Thank you. Vote on the motion. So, uh, this House believes Scientology is as legitimate as any other religion. All those in favour say aye. Aye. Again, say nay. 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 So the nays have it on that one. Yes. Yeah.